worry about it. You're not going to see that in your game. At least I think. We'll see if it pops up here in a second. Oh, is a link to my save available? Not yet. By the way, this is a test. If you see this, tell Keno. Uh, hey, Keno, I see it. Love you, buddy. Okay, um, so we're going to do... Well, first of all, a quick look at the options. Uh, we did this when we looked before. I, I made a couple changes. Normally, the auto-pause starts like this, where it only pauses at combat start. Uh, I went ahead and put on Trap Detected as well. Uh, and I'm also going to put on Stop Party Movement, because a lot of times... If this is anything like PoE 1, whenever you discover a trap, your party likes to walk right over it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and turn that on for now. I think I'm going to leave everything else off. I was tempted to put this one on, but um, we'll keep it here for now. Graphics, everything is high. Uh, font scales default at 120. Uh, we also have frame rate all the way maxed. All this stuff turned on. And uh, yeah, looks good. Running it in windowed right now, which is fine. Sound. We'll play with that later as we need to. Let's turn the music up a little bit. Sea shanties? I like that. Uh, interface. This is a cool feature. We get to pick your layout. We're just going to keep it default for now, but we may move it around later. That could be kind of fun. Hell, maybe I could do this one and put my camera right there. Hmm. Take a look at that later. And then achievements, which we haven't done yet. Now, this is pretty cool. This is the set PoE 1 game stats. Now, this is a little bit of the game that a lot of people are curious about, so I wanted to show you real quick what this is. Um, you can actually make your own save in this game, very similar to DAI Inquisition. It's basically just like this. You just select the different parts of it, and then it gives you the options, and you pick what your options are. It's it's that easy. What god did you go with at the end? What was the fate of his soul? And uh, it does some of the basic stuff from, like, Defiance Bay. Um, it does some basic stuff for the DLC, does companion quests. And, yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's you select all this stuff in here. But yeah, so what I did was last night, I was a little bit confused because when I came to this window, uh, this was empty. There was nothing here. And I erroneously thought that my saved game was supposed to pop up in here and that I was supposed to be able to select the history. That is incorrect. And I'll show you why here in just a second. But for the record, in your game, if you open this window and there's nothing there, don't worry about it. Um, don't be like me and assume your saved game isn't tracking. Okay, new game. Path of the Damned, we are not going to turn on Trial or Iron or Expert Mode, and we are going to keep level scaling at none, because we're playing the hardest difficulty. Now, when I tested this last night, I skipped the intro, so this is going to be my first time seeing this stuff. And I'm pretty excited. Aora, a world where mortals live, die, and are reborn through the turning of the wheel. The cycle of reincarnation watched over by the gods, and made possible through pillars of a mystical substance known as Audra. Five years ago, you traveled from your home to the Deerwood, a nation that had waged war against the incarnated god of light. Aethys, resulting in his destruction. The country suffered from a plague of hollowborn, infants born without souls, that many believed was punishment for killing a god. In an ancient, secluded ruin, you witnessed a secret ritual that inadvertently transformed you into a Watcher, one who can see and speak with souls. The ritual also gave you horrible visions. Waking nightmares of a past life that threatened your sanity. To put them to rest, you pursued the man who had led the ritual. A seemingly immortal agent of the gods. Known as Theos Ix Arcanon. With divine assistance, you confronted and defeated Theos. Ending your visions and resolving the Hollowborn Crisis. In so doing, you also learned the great secret 
that Theos had protected. That the ancient empire of Anguith had transformed themselves into gods. Your visions finally put to rest, you retired to the castle of Cadnua, built atop a massive statue of pure Audra, where you ruled in relative peace and prosperity. Sounds good so far. Okay. Made a nice story. You fixing up that old keep? Lifting the curse? <laughs> Must have told it a hundred times. But something got to gnawing at me. Thinking the spirits there weren't really at rest. That maybe the gods weren't finished with us. I used to dream that when my god came back, he would forgive us. That's the trouble with dreams. Sooner or later, we all have to wake up. <laughs> that co em emote looks so good. <laughs> This world, the in between of life and death. Okay. Follow your memories. You have been here before. So, just a heads up this is where the about, I think it'll probably take about 15 minutes to half an hour you worth of dialogue is. Past the shroud. You are a watcher now, and the watcher you will stay. A watcher. See souls, knows their pasts, and the souls see them back. I'm not going to talk during this. I don't want to interrupt it. A dubious honor, inheriting a fortress both broken and cursed. What is a god? Hmm? A higher power? A rewarder of good deeds and punisher of the wicked. Is this PO one recap? Yes, this stuff happened in PO one. We're here. Gods aren't real, but something else entirely. Something created by people. What we're actually looking at is the progression of PO one. All of these happen serially throughout PO one. And did you ever consider that these were things you were never meant to understand? That their comprehension is beyond you. That is at the end of the game. world see. Let them decide what to do. And that was actually right before the end of the game. The wheel has turned again, Watcher. Come. An aged dwarf shares this strange floating platform with you. His face is creased by so many wrinkles that his features lie buried amid shadowy pockets of skin. Still, the dwarf's well-practiced habits have left telltale tracks of a welcoming rictus across his visage. They voiced the narrator! Yes! You guys should have seen my face last night when I heard this. I, I did like a triple take to see if there were quotes around it. I was like, is the narrator actually voiced? Oh yeah, at least it is in the intro. Um, pretty awesome. All right, here we go. You can see his smile coming before it blooms, reshaping the dwarf's face from a hanging sack of flesh into something resembling an oddly carved Mary Gore, replete with unhealthy bumps and discolored splotches. Fun. So we have no idea where we are right now. 
There's a giant hand <laughs> of some kind. More Audra in the background. Now for this stuff, all I did last night was I covered my eyes and I hit one until the dialogue was over. So um, even though I, I zoomed through this part, I haven't I haven't seen any of it yet. Uh, also, apparently the music is a little loud. It looks like 30% may have been the right choice for that. There we go. Okay, uh, sit. I don't even know who this is. Thank you for joining us, Watcher of Kadnua. The gaunt woman seated at the table oh. is clad in time-worn black armor that seems too massive for her to move in. Now we know from PoE 1 that the Pallid Knight is a harbinger of Barath, I believe. And Barath is actually the god of rebirth and cycles. So he is actually the guy that kind of maintains the wheel in a way. Um, so this is, this is somebody who represents kind of a restart or rebirth. A pale, slender neck rises from the gorget, topped by a hollow face. The milky skin stretched across it is delicate and translucent, like parchment that has been scraped clean too many times. And yes, the correct way to say it, I'm sorry, is an aspect of Bareth. It's, it's, uh, the way that it kind of works is gods can have aspects in this game. It's kind of, it's sort of like possession, but it's more like giving your power to, um, it's, it's an interesting thing that I think they're going to go into more in this game. She is preoccupied with the arrangement of cards on the table between you. With each movement, her armor squeaks and groans as though bearing an incredible weight. She places a final card, gives a nod of satisfaction, and raises her eyes to meet yours. Your brush with the divine has drained you of your powers, fractured your memories. Look upon these cards. They represent the courses of your life. You alone know best how they flowed. Arrange them to fit what you remember. Hmm. Examine the cards to choose your legacy. Ah, okay. So this is where you load your game in. So what you could do is pick a predefined, uh, predefined history. So these are all histories that let you um, kind of spec your character if you didn't play PoE 1. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to give you my saved game if you watched our 70-hour playthrough. So what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to click Import PoE1 Save, find Co, and then load that. And this now takes every decision we made over our 70-hour playthrough and puts it into this game. Yes. Good. Welcome to the beyond. I am Bera. One half anyway. She points a finger in the direction of the dwarf who led you here. Though the movement is slight, her gauntlet squeaks like a rusty hinge. The dwarf's rictus returns as he nods in the woman's direction. The gods offered you boons in exchange for resolving the Hollowborn crisis. What did you do with the souls? I restored the souls to the Hollowborn. Tell me. Do you remember when we last met? I spoke with the other gods in the Hall of Stars and pledged myself to them. What does this mean? This is a result of choices you made in Pillars of Eternity. Oh, cool. Okay. You did. She places a card on the table, showing a tall tower with the gods' constellations arrayed around it. In the By sky. the way, can I, can I just say how much I'm liking the narrator's voice right now? This is this is kind of great. She places a card in the middle of the arrangement. A bell tower with no bell. Her fingertips slowly drag away from the card, faintly creaking as they retreat across the table. You had need of the gods once before. Now it seems we have need of you. The being that occupied Ognua's statue beneath your castle was the dead god, Aeothus. Of this we are certain. What we do not know is what his intentions are. Though Aethus stole a large fragment of your soul, you were strong enough to survive the onslaught and enter the in-between. He stole a fragment of our soul? So Eothos is the god of rebirth, redemption, dawn, spring, and light. Traditionally shown as a man bearing a candle or wearing a silver crown. Believed to have possessed the body of the Red Saren farmer Widewind during the Saints' War, 
and have been destroyed with the wide wind at the end of the war. He recently reformed his essence in the statue of Meros Nua beneath Cade Nua. In the process of pulling himself from the Endless Pass, he destroyed the castle and left the Watcher of Cade Nua at the brink of death. Hmm. You and he are still connected. He has chosen a body made of living Atra, perfused with the power of thousands of souls, including yours. It should be little difficulty for an experienced Watcher to find him. Am I dead? No. But neither is your body truly alive. Your lungs draw breath, your heart pumps blood, but your flesh is as soulless as a hollowborn. That is, until I return you. For the record, guys, I, my save file is not available yet, but it will be available before the game releases on the 8th. She delicately places a card upright on the table. The art depicts souls flowing out of a pillar of Audra. Well, I'd like to find out as much as you would. He destroyed my castle and killed who knows how many people around it. I know. It is my business to know. 322 in Cadnua and your surrounding land. What? You bastard! The God of Rebirth is a jerk. Their souls remain in Aetha still. You have the power to save them. Serve me and I will return you to your body. Or don't. And return to the wheel. I wonder if I say I'll take the wheel if it just restarts everything. Can I save it? <laughs> save scumming the intro. What kind of man am I? Um, I'm going to say let's get on with it. because uh, Nope. You know what? Science. I'll take the wheel. Unfortunate. This will prove much more difficult without someone of your unique talents and circumstances. She Sorry. She raises her gauntleted hand and gestures to the dwarf hovering at the periphery. The dwarf nods. The supernaturally wide smile returning to his face. He gestures for you to follow him. I'm sorry, guys. We have to science this. Follow him. No sooner has Barith spoken than you feel yourself dissolve. It is not an unpleasant sensation. Something between falling asleep and... Did I just beat the game? Current. Your essence is pulled through the Audra, where it mingles with the stuff of thousands of other souls. Your thoughts, your memories, <laughs> even your identity as the Watcher, fade like a dream. <laughs> Eventually, your soul reforms and finds its way into a small, crawling thing of fur and claws. It's a cat! You know the world by sound and scent, as food and danger. The concerns of gods and nations are beyond you. Oh, it's definitely a cat. It's a simple and satisfactory existence, though your mind can conceive of no other. Whether it is a long one will depend upon the Watcher Barith chooses in your stead. That's awesome. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed Pillars of Eternity 2. To be honest, it didn't last quite as long as I thought it would, but it was still a thoroughly enjoy... Oh, I should do the other one? I should do the other... Okay, we'll do... The... Well, I guess we'll try the other option. We'll, we'll, see, where... we'll see if that goes anywhere. Um, let me just go through the credits real quick. Okay. Cool. All right, let's, let's try it again. <laughs> oh man, I'm I'm sorry, guys, but I, that was kind of worth. <laughs> Speed run strats, I know, right? Yeah, you can beat Pillars of Eternity two in three minutes and twenty four seconds. <laughs> I don't know, man. I got three minutes and twenty. You know, if you if you click at the right angles during the intro, you can really speed through that uh, purple tendril part. <laughs> Aora. Oh man. Oh, Actually, real quick, let me let me and check so for a save game. They may have a save game. The in between of life and death. Can I raise the voice volume? Um, one second. Follow you. First of all, is there a Oh, this is all the interest. Oh, this. Oh, this, oh, wow! It has the saved games from when I played the the Kickstarter backer. Um. Ooh, I probably don't want to touch those. Uh, yeah, we'll delete those later. You have been here before. Can I quick save? You no, I can't. Okay. We'll do it for real this time. You are a watcher now, and watcher you will stay. 
Do I want to read the descriptions of each of the history options? Um, Leander, I'm probably going to get up to character creation pretty quickly. Yeah. We're pretty much going to do the same stuff up until the point where we uh, we accept working for Barith. A dubious honor, inheriting a fortress both broken and cursed. Oh, we can't go fast mode right now. No, this is this is uh this is staged. Yeah. My voice is loud and the game voices are low. Okay, let me let me check this real quick. Okay, voice volume's all the way up. Let me go ahead and. A god. How is higher power? A rewarder of good deeds and punisher of the wicked. Now it sounds kind of super loud. Um, let's do like there. The gods aren't real, but something else entirely. Something created by people. Is that good? Great. Okay. And did Let's you go ever with that. consider that these were things you were never meant to understand? That their comprehension is beyond you? Let the world see. Let them decide what to do. The wheel has turned again, Watcher. Come. So interestingly enough, by the way, for those that didn't catch it, um, you know how we talked about how the Paladinite's an aspect of Barith? These are apparently two halves of him. So Barith is also the guy we're talking to right here. Kind of crazy. So I guess they're both aspects of Barith. Yeah, now we're starting our second playthrough of the game. Um, we're gonna make we're gonna do some different choices this time. A lot of variety between these two playthroughs. Completely different. Sit. Please. Thank you for joining. A pale. She's pretty. Your brush. Import save. Co. Does everything appear good? It's the dwarf, continue, the gods continue. offered you boons in exchange for resolving the Hollowborn crisis. What did you do with the souls? So it, it, I wonder what the boon is. Um, restore the souls to the Hollowborn. Tell me. Do you, you, the did she you had to be though a you and he my no. dead she delicately places a destroyed my castle Their souls remain in here we go still bam this is all new here we go before you return to aora as my herald you must remember who you were the last whisper of life in death for a moment the sockets of her eyes darken leaving the pits of a death's head gazing out at you when you can picture your own face, the beyond will lead you back to your own kind, to the world of mortals. Ah, okay. So, all right. 